experts were full of praise for Catherine for cleverly arranging Harry and William's chat after the trio attended Prince Philip's emotional funeral on Saturday. They even called her the rock of the family. Brothers William and Harry, who were once very close, have been in a strained relationship for a few years and the situation is exacerbated by the TV interview with Oprah Winfrey in February with Harry and his wife Meghan Markle. Those hoping for a reconciliation between Prince William and Harry, who tuned into the funeral, were treated with a worrisome sight at first. Both brothers took part in the procession behind his grandfather Prince Philip's coffin on the way to St George's Chapel, but did not stand next to each other. Rather, their cousin Peter Phillips was positioned in between them. In a remarkable situation that took place after the funeral ceremony ended, Prince Harry was seen chatting and walking with Prince William and Catherine as the trio and other guests began to leave the chapel to return to Windsor Castle. As William chatted to the Dean of Westminster outside the chapel, Catherine reportedly engaged Harry in conversation. In their masks, it was impossible to know what was said, but somehow the Duchess of Cambridge managed to diffuse a deeply tense and difficult moment. The Duchess, who also gave her father-in-law, Prince Charles, a comforting kiss on the cheek as he was overcome with grief, reportedly tried to help repair Prince William and Prince Harry's relationship. It all happened after the emotional ceremony when Catherine started chatting animatedly to Harry. Then, instead of getting into their separate cars, Harry, William and Catherine decided to walk back to the castle together. Moments later, the brothers walked on ahead together. As Catherine hung back to talk to Zara Tyndall, the Duchess seemed to make a point of letting the brothers walk alone together. At the time, both William and Harry looked entirely natural, with no signs of stress or discord in their companionship. There was no forced show and no sign of avoiding each other. Viewers were heartened by the sight, and one person tweeted, What a wonderful sight then to see William, Harry and Kate walking together. Another remarked, so nice to see William and Harry, along with Kate, mingling together after the funeral service, just like old times. And immediately, Catherine won hearts of royal watchers, with her sincere efforts to bring the two brothers closer. Brian Hoey, who has written a biography of Prince William, told the son, They say cometh the hour, cometh the man. But in the royal family's case, it's a woman. Thank God for Kate. She is the rock the monarchy will depend on. On Saturday, she behaved absolutely impeccably. Meanwhile, body language expert Dr Louise Maller believes her involvement in the chat helped drive the brothers to talk. She told the morning show, She never moved her head from Harry. She had his attention. She kept the conversation just about the funeral. She kept his attention and made it easy for William just to have a little word in about the funeral and nothing else. Kate kept that attention, kept that energy and kept that focus. It was genius at work really under an enormously stressful situation. Thinking of the Duchess's presence at the ceremony and her subtle gesture, journalist Sarah Vine had a long commentary for Mail Online, which included the passage, that slim-hipped, fresh-faced home counties girl who caught Prince William's eye at St Andrews University 20 years ago, has matured into a wise and capable woman, a dedicated and level-headed wife and mother, a beacon of style and elegance, an accomplished public speaker, and someone who emanates an aura of calm capability that seems to envelop everyone in its force field. Never was this more in evidence than on Saturday afternoon. Arriving at Windsor, she was captured looking directly into the camera, her gaze steady and serious, her demure, sombre, yet impeccably stylish, calm, confident and self-composed. She conducted herself, as she always does, with impeccable grace. That the Duchess is such a class act is, of course, nothing new. Over the course of the past few years, and in particular during the pandemic, she has rarely put a foot wrong. She exudes just the right mixture of warmth and discretion, sharing unguarded glimpses of life as a royal wife, without exposing herself or her family more than is right or necessary. But at Saturday's funeral, she exceeded even her own high standards. It wasn't just her poise and style, it was also the way she showed herself to be a beacon of light in the darkest of hours. 
Her kindness and sense of duty shone through in her determination to set aside any sense of personal resentment she may have felt about that interview, to do what was best for her husband, his family and ultimately the nation, and smooth the path to reconciliation between the brothers. In another, Sarah wrote, knowing perhaps that with the world's cameras on the three of them the brothers would be less likely to make a spectacle, she extended the hand of friendship to Harry and drew him into conversation. Whatever her own feelings about what was said about her in the interview, she put them aside for the sake of the greater good, an opportunity to turn what was a deeply sad occasion into one, perhaps, tinged with hope. And she did it with such effortless charm and generosity of spirit. Who knows whether Harry and William's exchange will go any way towards beginning to bridge the gap between them. But God loved Kate for giving it a go, for seeing the bigger picture and putting their happiness ahead of her own satisfaction. Meanwhile, Ingrid Stewart, who is the editor-in-chief of Majesty magazine and one of the most prominent writers on the British royal family, claimed, Kate has just got beautiful manners, taught by her mum Carol. And when she sees an awkward situation, she steps in. That's why she talked to Harry. She continued, Kate is a mum of three. She has a husband she needs to support and I don't think there is enough time in her life to hold grudges.